Hey everybody. Um, got my, my COVID hair going on. It's not everybody me. else. So I was going to do a video here on the fly. But um, vibrational. See. I've got my cultus box running. And what I did was write out what I want to say because I'll forget half of it if I just sit here and ramble on forever. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around to the cultist box and read you what I got here, okay? About this channel. And they have. Okay, so I decided to put Echo Box on and we'll just keep the the video rolling on that and maybe we'll hear something while the while I um go through this. So I just want to talk about the channel a little bit and not not this channel versus another channel or my box versus your box. Fakes versus non-fakes or your spiritual advancements versus mine. Uh, I don't care about any of that. Um, you know, I just I, I make my boxes. I like to make my boxes when I make them. If I decide to make a website and sell them, then I'll do that too, or I won't. You know, I don't care about people on other channels who I don't know. You know, I've tried to befriend others. I've invited others to do live sessions with me to get together and do some kind of a, you know, like a do lives with me, maybe like a double spirit box session. You know, I've invited others to even create spirit boxes with me, like, you know, do a, a collab of some sorts, and they shoot me down. So it's apparent that it's more about them for most people, not wanting to share their secrets or not wanting to get found out that maybe their channel or their connection isn't what it's portrayed to be in, in video, you know. Um, I do what I do on my channel. I've told everyone how I make my boxes. I've opened them up to you. I've showed you them. I've never lied about whether I'm using an app by somebody else or my own custom files. I don't fake evidence. I don't have to. You know, I've got a shop loaded with spirits here, and if they want to talk, then they'll come forward and they'll talk. You know, if I made fun of others like Steve Huff, yep. <laughs> and so isn't everyone else, and there's a reason for that. But we're not going to get into that now. I don't sub to his channel, and it's really rare that I go onto his channel, if at all, in the past uh, year and a half, you know. If something's up there on as a suggestion on YouTube and I feel like watching it, maybe I'll skim through it for a chuckle. So I appreciate all you little Huff Warriors, you know, you, you come here and you give me shit, you send me little messages, um, because I denounced your God on a couple of occasions, you know. One of you even made like six accounts, just so that you can give me a bad rating. And, and I know what analytics are and how they work. So, you know, it sounds more like a you problem than a, than a me problem. So you work on yourself, buddy. And as for other channels, you know, the ones that contact celebrities, I personally don't do that. Sometimes I'll watch them, though. You know, I mean, i got to say, I, you know, I, I've watched. And I, I probably still will watch sometimes. You know, I don't even do that in my spare time. <laughs> I, I just don't. You know, I don't disrespect the living family. Their kids, you know, their daughters, their grandchildren, you know, brothers, sisters, whatever. I just, I just don't do that with, you know, a freshly deceased body. It's kind of creepy in a way. I do, however, like history, you know, and on my channel I've done a lot with going through what our local historian has written for a website and I'll read that and I'll try to engage with the box and see what comes out. I think, you know, I'll do more of that, not just local history, like history history or strange and unusual stuff. Um, maybe one day I'll try and contact somebody who's been dead for a lot longer than 50, 60 years. <laughs> I don't know. We'll, we'll see. You know, I'm just going to do what I want to do, whatever I feel like doing. So it's all going to be the same, just with a few branches, you know. I don't need to constantly ask my spirits in the shop to come forward and perform, you know. The, they come forward when they feel they need to, and a lot of times they come forward when it's not on video, you know. They give me warnings. They tell me, you know, don't sell this shop. I've, I've, I hear all that stuff, and I don't put everything up on video. I just don't, you know. There isn't anything new to learn from them, you know. You know what they are, who they are, and if you don't know, there's about 150 videos on my channel about 
So go back and watch those. <laughs> and that way, when they do come forward, you'll know. But I'm not going to drag them into every session. Uh, I could go ahead and make videos with my guides, which I do to some extent. You know, I've made a couple videos about it. But again, you know, that's, that's my personal business, and it's really not yours. You know, I know where I stand in my own path. I know where I want to go. And I know how m much more I want to develop my skills. And I have good friends on my team that if I need help, they can help me with that who are a lot more advanced than I am, you know, in, in what what we do. You know, it, YouTube is it's education and it's entertainment. And I don't feel it's my place to educate you. I can offer you tips, and I educate myself. I take my own bumps, my own bruises through the paranormal. You know, I've had attachments. I've had a possession. Um, I've discovered my guides. I've disrespected spirit. And then I've learned respect. And once you learn the respect part and you get it, there's nothing more that you can really fail at. You know, you keep your vibration as high as you can. You try to keep it high during a session. You be respectful to spirit on investigations and in sessions. Don't trust every spirit that you encounter. Learn what negativity feels like within yourself. Learn what a negative spirit feels like. And you can't be tricked as easy. You know, so where am I getting that with all this? I don't really know. <laughs> Nothing really. My channel is going to be the same, like I said, but just with a few branches. So people can like it or not. I don't care. I know where I'm at within myself. I know my guides. I know what spirits are around me. I know how to talk to them. Even if they might be what some people call lower level or earthbound spirits, you know. I'm earthbound. You're earthbound. And we're supposed to help our fellow man on earth, so why wouldn't you help your fellow spirit that's still on earth? You know, not all spirits that are on earth that are earthbound are, are fucking demons, you know. It's just, that's, that's not true. So don't be afraid to talk to them, because we're not any better than them. And if you think you are, then you've got more looking at within yourself to do. Or maybe you're too scared to do that, you know. Maybe you're scared of what you're going to hear through your box or within yourself. Again, that's that's not my problem. That's your problem. So I'm not here to bash anybody's channels or the way anybody does it. I'm just here to tell you that I'm going to start doing what I want to do a little more. I'm going to branch out. Um, you know, everybody's got their own. You got you got a light side and you got a dark side, and both of those sides teach you and make you grow. So I'm done. I don't do this often, if at all, but it's here, and I'll pin this to the top maybe, so I don't have to keep going over it. And I don't know if this said anything or if you can even hear it. It might have been in the way of, of, you know, of me talking. But that's it. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, all you guys who, who are here all the time and do watch my videos. I appreciate it. I watch a lot of, you know, videos on, on Paranormal, and I watch a lot of you guys. So that's where I'm at. Goodbye.